They had it all, right? Name calling, mockery, accusations just flying all over the place. Uh, the candidates are racing to Super Tuesday, and this thing is heated up. You know, one of the questions, though, you have to start to ask is will all this negativity, will it damage the GOP brand uh, come November? Joining me now, uh, Carl Higby, Ebony Williams, and Van Hip. Van, you've been associated with the Republican Party for a long time. In the past, I've heard candidates, I've spoken with candidates that have said their primary process leaves them so scuffed up. Uh, that they go into November wounded. I, if that's the case, what's going to happen this time around? Well, this is not a normal election uh, a year, uh, Charles. So, uh, and I, I got to tell you, I talked to some people today. My sources tell me that tracking, internal tracking polls taken today since the debate show that Donald Trump has actually increased his lead in those 12 Super Tuesday states. In some of the states, uh, Charles, he's actually beginning to move up into the 40s. Now, I got to tell you, these uh, establishment experts out there who are starting to jump out of windows right now, come Tuesday, uh, those who have it, their family members, I think, would be well advised <laughs> to probably get them to move on down to the first floor before Tuesday. <laughs> election results come in. <laughs> okay. A lot of people may have to call out sick on Wednesday, huh? I'm telling you. <laughs> what do you make of it, Carl? Well, I think you know what's funny is he was talking about the Republican strategists. And the issue here is you have all these Republican strategists that have been in the game for two, three, four decades. They're applying conventional political logic to an unconventional candidate. What the thing is, they don't get, it doesn't matter what Donald Trump says. He can say literally anything he wants, and the supporters are still going to stand behind him for the most part. And they're trying to, tr trying to attack him, trying to bring him down. It just doesn't matter. His supporters are staying strong. Ebony, as, a non, as someone who's not involved in politics, though, they, they're flipping the channels around last night, and they sure. see that debate. I mean, they're like, what the hell is this, a school lunch, uh, school cafeteria <laughs> lunch fight? Oh, the only thing that's missing was stale yeah. sandwiches. But you know what they're doing, Charles? They're watching. And so, do I think it's going to hurt the Republican brain long term? No, I don't. Here's why. I don't think we'll see anything nastier than Hillary versus Obama in that 2008 primary. That was, a, to me, is about as nasty as it gets. And ultimately, you know, we see that, that he moved on from that and was successful in the general. So, I think what Trump is doing for politics, uh, whether you hate it or you like it, it's certainly making people tune in and they're paying attention. So, so the nicknames like con artists... Uh, Lion Ted <laughs> um, and, and all the so, uh, other ones for Rubio, uh, yep. they, they don't stick. They won't, it won't matter come November, uh, Van. No, you know, it's, it's, it's different. And, um, you know, what the Republican Party's got to do, what they didn't do uh, the last uh, cycle, uh, Charles, is this. They've got to bring out new voters. And we saw 100,000 new voters, the old silent majority, coming out, people who pay the taxes, they go to church, they love their country, but they feel like their government has let them down. They're coming out. That's how the Republican Party, uh, uh, that, that's how they're going to win in 2012. Right. Mitt Romney won the independence. John McCain lost the independence. But you know what? They got about the same amount of vote. We Republicans did not turn out our base well, in 2012. There's th a big lesson to be learned. There's there. no doubt the enthusiasm gap favors any Republican that comes out uh, uh, out of this. And obviously, Donald Trump, the Trump train is becoming more and more of a locomotive.